Good evening. Imam Su, sir. Good evening. Good evening, sir. How are you? Am I audible, sir? Yes, absolutely. Good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. So once again, nice to be back in the new session. Yes, sir. And, and thanks for giving me the chance to be the opening batsman. <laughs> Thanks for Thank giving me the so chance much. to be the opening batsman. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. We'll start in few minutes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Definitely, sir. Manchu sir, Edward Alphonse sir joined, kindly make him co-host. Okay. He joined with two accounts.
Okay. So now it's five o'clock. So I'll request uh, our president, ma'am, is here today. Sorry, sorry, sir, is ready? Yes, ma'am. Yes. I'm ready. Good evening, madam. I'm ready. Yes, ma'am. So, Himanshu, sir, can we start? Yes, please, please, ma'am. Okay. Good, after, good afternoon, everybody. On behalf of the Arivata Sohodeo School Complex, I, Radhika, personally welcome each one of you, each members, and those who are yet not joined this session also, inviting personally to join the Arivata Sohodeo School Complex because we are committed towards the development of the each one of us, not only for the teachers development, but also for the students and the schools development too. And for the teachers, you know that immediately our trainer, training coordinator, that's Himanshu sir is taken on an area of seven days of already been made that the free training to entire members of the present members as well as all members who are willing to join also. So I must hats off you, sir, for taking this initiative. And it's indeed a great pleasure for Surajit, sir, is the first trainer of this session, sir. And he has come up with a such topic that art integrated learning. On this day and the first session, I must say, uh, bow my head before Dr. C.P. Singh, sir, who is the founder, chairman of the Arivata Sahodeo School Complex and all executive members and in its today's gate for our secretary and Alfonso are also here with us today join. Sir, welcome to the uh, Arivata, uh, welcome to this training session, sir. I'm sure about that. In case if I am not able to attend the training, you will be there to take care of my absence also. I personally request each one of you that Please, when the sir, link is there, please listen carefully. One hour, if we contribute, if you are spent wisely, then it will be benefited for us. Because Suraj sir is a very good trainer. And please make it a note that, make it a point that, which are the main points he is discussing. Note it that, so that you will be able to answer the questions of the quiz link. And we'll be able to answer the question and you can score the good marks. And scoring of minimum of 40% of marks is a must. And, and I, if I'll not mention the if I, if I, merely an executive members only, if I'll not mention the simple ma'am's name here, then it is really an injustice for that. Every, all the training session, simple ma'am is there to allow and be from the beginning to end to allowing and watching that the, what is going on and helping us. Thank you, Symbol Ma'am, for this wonderful uh, help. And Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you. Most welcome. And of course, being a treasurer is there to al allow the, all the principals are its earnest request that please join the Arivata Sahodaya. Let's together make something new and create something new. With this, I wish to hand over the mic to Himanshu, sir. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you so much. And uh, now, uh, uh, Edward sir is here. Uh, sir, can you hear us? Uh, yes, sir. So please say a few words. This is the first training of the session, so just a few. The good wishes are required. Hello. Yes, sir. Can you hear us, sir? Yes, sir. I can uh, hear you. Yes, uh, sir. So you are very much audible. So, no, I am asking to Edward, sir. Edward, okay, sir, who is our secretary. Uh, Again, uh, not perhaps. Okay. So, uh, simple man, can we start now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We can start, sir. Yeah, please. So, let's not uh, waste our time. Uh, yes, sir. Move on with the training. So, I'll request Surajit, sir, who is there. So, bless us uh, for the very, the very first training. So, Surajit, sir, please start. Okay, sir. 
Thank you, sir. Thank you for the permit, sir. So here we go. Good evening, respected uh, Radhika, ma'am. Good evening, respected Imansu, sir. Good evening, respected uh, Edward Alfonso, sir. Your name, I just came to know that you are the secretary of this particular so there. So good evening, sir, and welcome to this particular session. Good evening to all the respected learned teachers who are present over here in this particular platform to take this program. And it's a wonderful training program, I can tell you. The one hour or so that we all will be together, definitely, definitely we're going to learn something. We all are in the learning process. Me being the resource person doesn't mean that I know everything. No, it is not at all like that. I am also one of the learners. And I hope by the end of the day or by the end of this hour, we will definitely, definitely learn a lot many things. Uh, since sir has given me the opportunity to start the first training program of this session, so def definitely it's a big, big honor for me, sir. And I will always, I always keep you at a very high esteem position. I keep all of you, all the teachers also, I keep at a very esteem position. And I hope that all of you will support me as you did in the last two sessions also. Okay, so here we go. We will start with art integrated learning. Before we start, before we start, I'll just ask one or two small questions and you can give your responses to the in the chat box. And after that, we will move forward. Okay. Now, what do you think about learning? Is it only related or it is only limited to the four walls of the classroom or something beyond that? Is it only limited learning? Is it only limited to the four walls of the classroom within the curriculum, within the syllabus or something beyond that? Something beyond that. Let us let us see what answer we are getting from the, uh, the teachers. Teachers, is learning only limited to the syllabus, to the content or something beyond the syllabus Beyond the classroom, yes, it is beyond the classroom. It is beyond the, somebody has just wrote written, Amita Jha Madam has written that it is beyond the classroom. Jugnu sir has written. When you talk about learning, you know, we are not only talking about the subjective learning. We are talking about the holistic development of, a, of an individual. In classrooms, in schools, we don't only teach the subjects that are related and the contents that are related within the syllabus. We are actually here making a complete human being with all the human qualities that one should have. Holistic development, that's absolutely it's the correct one. We go for a holistic development. So when we're talking about learning, we are talking about everything that is associated in order to make a person an intellectual being. A person who has each and every the idea not only about the system, not only about the syllabus, not only about the subject, but about the entire life. That is what is. And when art is integrated with it, when the art is, uh, you can say, punched with learning, then obviously learning becomes wonderful. So with this, let us start. At what are the things we will see today? Let us see. Art integrated learning. All of you know my name. I am Suroj itself, principal and I don't think I have to introduce myself time and again, because by now I think most of you are very much familiar with me. Now, what we will explore today, what we will see today in a, uh, in a very uh, Excel, I'm telling you, we will see what is art integrated learning. We'll see that. We'll see stage-wise learning objectives at the different stages, like say primary st stage, we have pre-primary stage in the school, we have primary stage, and we have the upper primary stage also. At different levels, how the uh, what are the objectives of this art integrated learning is all about. We will see, we will also see a few strategies on implementation, how you will implement. If we have to study about the objectives, then we should also know how to implement them, how to start with them. We will also see classroom management with art integrated learning, how we will manage our classrooms. And of course, definitely, whenever, whenever a learning objective is there, there should be assessment. We should do some assessment to find out exactly where we are standing, by where our students are standing. So this is the everything that we will see. To be, again, I'm uh, repeating once again, that to be very honest with you, this wonderful topic, Again, cannot be completed in one session. You know, very superficially, we will go today with or uh, with uh, going into details with the finer points. But if we ever get a chance to uh, to conduct a one day full five hours program, definitely we can have a lot of activities related to this art integrated learning and a lot of other good things can happen. But right now, we will see very superficially what is this art integrated learning all about. Now, art integrated learning is a teaching learning model. Okay, it's a teaching learning model based on learning through arts and learning with arts. 
So this particular line, you can see here, this one written in italics, this is learning, uh, learning through arts and learning with arts. So art integrated learning, in short, we call it as AIL, is a teaching learning model based on learning through arts and learning with arts. By the way, respected teacher, this is nothing new about it. We have been practicing art integrated learning for a long period of time. But in the last two years, CBSC has taken this learning uh, model very, very seriously. And uh, if you go through NCF, uh, foundation stage of 2023 or NCF of a school, uh, school education 2023, you will find that major portion of that NCF discusses about art integrated learning in various forms and means. Okay, in various forms and means. And those of you who have a knack of writing and all these things, if you see the CBSC circular, which is still now very much visible in the site where that uh, we have the we have that uh, CBSC uh, magazine, Sen Gosek where they are asking, they are asking, CBS is asking papers on art integrated learning, art, uh, art based learning. So if you're interested, you can write something over there and get yourself uh, recognized in that particular magazine. So art integrated learning is a teaching learning model based on learning through arts and learning with arts. Here art becomes a medium of teaching learning. And and the key to understanding the concept within any subject of the curriculum. So here art becomes a medium of teaching and it's a key to understanding the concept within any subject of the curriculum. Whichever subject we have, whatever subject you want to teach. Okay, if you integrate, if you, if you inculcate art into it, then you will be able to teach that subject in a more conceptual manner, giving all the concepts in detail and teaching learning will become wonderful. Teaching learning will become wonderful for the students. They will enjoy it. By the way, respected teachers, please remember one thing. Teach the children for the love of learning. Don't teach them for the heck of learning. Then it never becomes a learning based uh, uh, sorry, a uh, uh, learning-based teaching of yours. Please make sure that you teach your these students for the love of learning. Never ever teach your students for the heck of learning. That you have to do the work, you have been compelled to do it, don't do it in that way. Then teaching learning doesn't become wonderful. Art integrated learning, what we get through this? Learners explore creatively while building connections between different concepts through various art forms. You know, in art integrated learning, learners explore creatively while building connections between different concepts through various art forms. Different concepts of learning. There are thousands of concepts by which we learn. And if these concepts are learned through arts, then learning becomes much more result oriented. Okay. So through various art forms, art experiences, both in visual, visual art is also there, like say, for example, drawing, painting, clay modeling, pottery, paper crafts, mass puppet making, heritage craft, etc. Through this they learn, or performing arts, or students learn through performing arts, like music, dance, theater, puppetry, lead to understanding and construction of knowledge of different concepts. What are those concepts? We will come one by one. So, and in English, you know, there's a saying that seeing is believing, doing is believing, thinking is believing. So when children perform certain things through their art experiences, their learning becomes much more retainable. They can retain for the rest of their lives. I remember in my school when I used to study, many of our teachers used to go through these types of art integrated learning in form of, uh, say, uh, theaters and puppetries. And sometimes we used to make drawings and all these things. And those things are still very much clear in my head. So it, it is like this. Okay. Arts have the flexibility to accommodate age appropriate opportunities for learners who can explore at their individual pace. So see, that is the that is another unique quality of art. You know, arts have the flexibility to accommodate, accommodate age-appropriate opportunities. Now, say for example, a student of nursery, if we apply art-integrated learning according to that student's capacity of taking, definitely uh, that particular student will explore the learning in a, in a, in a particular way through his or her own, own time and space. And the same thing, 
same art integrated learning if we apply to a class 10 students according to his uh, uh, his adaptability of that particular art, definitely that will also have a great impact on its learning. So that is again a unique quality of art. Art is flexible. You know, you can turn and twist it according to the way you feel like putting into the head of the children, putting into the mind of the children. Because as a teacher, as a teacher, you know very well, you can measure exactly how much your student will be able to take, at which age they will be able to take, at which standard they will be able to take. So that is another greatness of teachers. So this resonates. When learners explore creativity while, learn, while building connections, when they are using various forms of art and they learn and they remember and they retain, this resonates with experiential learning approach. Through it, when they are performing the art, artifacts, when they are performing the various forms of artifacts in their, in their learning process, they are actually, they are actually, that resonates, that resounds like experiential learning approach. You know, we talk about a lot about, a lot of discussions are going on also on experiential learning, learning through experience. So learning through art is also learning through experience. Each one is almost directly linked up with one another. Let us move a little forward. Stage by objectives. What are the various stages that we have in this uh, teaching learning process of art integrated learning? Okay. Stage-wise interest. Learning through arts can take place at all levels of schooling. That is absolutely clear. Learning through arts can take place at all levels of schooling. Art integrated learning is experiential in nature. Just now we were discussing. It is experiential in nature. That is, we learn from the experiences. Children learn from the experience. And in nature and makes all children respond with their imagination and emotional strength. By the way, respected teacher, Art is also associated with emotion. And emotion is something which is directly linked with our thinking capacity. So emotion is a part of our learning process. So using or exploiting the emotions of children is very much viable in order to get better learning inside the classrooms. So, it's, so learning through art can take place at all levels of schooling. Art integrated learning is experiential in nature and makes all children respond to their imagination and emotional strength. The needs of the children will vary. Okay. Remember this, the needs of the children will vary according to age, according to social context and abilities. Now, obviously, the need of a nursery child will be completely different to, to that of a middle school child or that to a high school child. Okay, and according to the social context also, say for example, uh, we the we the so-called uh, rural rural based schools, our social context is a bit different from that of the metro cities children. So their uh, their way of taking art integrated learning can be a bit different from our way of taking art integrated learning. This, this depends because uh, that is what uh, the topography of the nation uh, differentiates everything. Okay. So the needs of the children vary with age, social context, and ability. Stage-wise objectives for engaging children in art integrated learning are as follows. So what are the different stages? What are the stage-wise objectives for engaging children in art integrated learning? So we have the three stages, the pre-primary stage. All of you know nowadays, a lot of discussions is going on with the pre-primary stage. Of course, the primary stage, which we generally call as the middle school and the upper primary stage the secondary or the senior secondary schools. So I believe obviously at every different level, the art integrated learning will be completely, uh, will be according to their requirements. Now let us see, talk about pre-primary stage. Okay, let us see about what is this pre-primary stage is telling us. At this stage, children are both highly inquisitive. Pre-primary, remember I'm talking about the, the, the uh, absolute lower level of the school. Okay, children from nursery, LKG, UKG, that area. So that is pre-primary stage. At this stage, children are both in highly inquisitive and energetic in nature. They are very inquisitive, always asking questions, you know, running, running here, running there. Why this is this? Why that is happening? Why the train runs? Why the engine? Uh, why the uh, bulb glows? Uh, why the sun is so hot? Why the moon is not hot? So many questions you will get. And you know, the more questions they ask, means it's something really happening. And they are very energetic. Always run here and there. They are in nature. Okay. Creative work like drawing, painting, clay work, music are both appealing and engaging for the young children. So if we involve our children into this, some sort of creative work, like we make them draw or we make them paint, we make them do some clay work. Nowadays, special clays are also available huh, in the market by which they can make various shapes and forms. If we apply music with their learning, 
which are both appealing and that will engage the young children. At this stage, all education should be through arts. Yes. Even the NCF is clearly mentioning that at pre-primary stage, all education should be through arts and nothing but arts. The objective of children's participation in visual and performing art is to, if what is the objective? If, if the children participate uh, in these types of learning, in this type of art integrated learning, then what are the what are the objectives that we will get? First of all, it will make learning joyful and engaging. Instead of just giving lectures and coming inside the class and just opening a very colorful book and just reading line after line, blah, 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 blah. Those days are gone, finished. So make learning in a different way. Make it integrated with art. Use different art forms. We will talk about those different art forms soon. So first of all, it makes learning very joyful and very engaging, you know. Children will love it. Encourage children to be aware of their environment through keen observation and unhindered explorations. Another thing that will happen is it will encourage children to be aware of their environment. Environment doesn't only mean their classroom. Environment means the class, their friends, the teachers, their parents, the people coming here from here and there, the entire school, the school campus, outside the school campus, all these things are associated with the environment through which children learn. And that will help them in a keen observation. You'll find especially the junior school students, they are very keen observers. They will move all around the school. They will see various things. They will ask you typical questions. And this should go unhindered. That will lead to an exploration. They will find more and more. By the way, respected teachers, one thing I want to mention over here is that whenever we are involved with heart integrated learning, please don't, don't be judicious. Don't be judgmental. Just make them free. Don't be rationing with your teaching. Don't be too much judicious with your teaching. Don't be too much judgmental with your learning, teaching learning process. Just make a free world. You will see learning will happen in a different way. It promotes sensitivity towards their environment. You know, promotes sensitivity towards the environment. Again, over here, the environment means the society in which the children are learning. Allow free emotional exp expressions. They will freely express with a lot of emotional touch. Their communication will be involved. I mean, with free expression, communication, involvement will be there. Complete involvement will be there if art integrated education is going on in our schools. It will facilitate children to express freely and spontaneously. Those children who were once upon a time were fumbling with their words, with fumbling with their studies, were, were becoming very, very, uh, what you call, uh, 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 withdrawing, withdrawing, uh, with, uh, withdrawing themselves from their studies, they will come out openly. They will express freely because they get engaged. And you teachers, know exactly what to give them. So when the students will get exactly what they need from their teachers, then wonders happen in the classroom. We know this very well. This is an age-old uh, process that goes on. So this is all about primary stage. It will make learning joyful and engaging. It will encourage uh, children to be aware of their environment through keen observation and unhindered, unhindered exploration. Let them go open up and uh, do their explorations. Okay. And help them to express freely and spontaneously. What about the primary stage, the next stage that we come? Okay. Art education at this stage needs to link all subjects. In the other, in the first stage, maybe that much of linking of the subjects were not done, but over here, art education at this stage needs to link all subjects such that it become a tool for teaching learning concepts. Yes, respected teachers, from the primary part, say from right from class one onwards, okay, we link the art education or art integrated learning with all the subjects and it becomes a tool for teaching learning concepts. It can play an effective role in strengthening the child's curiosity. Yes, when art is integrated with the subject, then obviously the curiosity of the child will increase. They will try to involve themselves more into the matter of learning and will come out with questions. They will try to imagine certain things. Imagination and sense of wonder will come into their mind. They should have a positive impact on skills related to intellectual, social, socio-emotional, emotional matters. Okay. So obviously, you know, when learning will happen in the right way, when questions will be asked, when the curiosity will develop, when imagination will create wonders, then an intellectual quality within the student will develop. A socio-emotional motor, the motor, the, the neurons will start on acting more and more. 
okay so both the cognitive cognitive part of learning as well as uh, the psychological part of learning will now simultaneously work with each other that's the wonder and overall literacy and the language the, the language learning will increase and that will lead to overall literacy overall literacy means the children will become literate step by step the objectives of art integrated learning at primary level are to help children in what experience the joy and engages to learn they will experience the joy and that will and the eagerness sorry the eagerness to learn okay so first of all they will experience joy and they will eager to learn see when learning is viable when children get exactly what they want then they become happy with that happiness they will become joyful and when they will become joyful they will be eager to learn more and more so we as teachers we as mentors we as guides we as facilitators of education to come up to that level to make sure that children are eager to learn learn to live in inclusive environment they will learn to live in inclusive environment all of you know what is an inclusive environment where everyone is capable of learning ncf says that that each and every child is capable of learning so everyone will, will be learning over irrespective of caste creed financial status social status physical status of the child and if this happens you know when art integrated learning group learning happens then they will learn in an inclusive environment and we need this this is another call of the day for our education sector that inclusive environment should be created discover concepts of science and mathematics around them with art integrated learning they will discover the concepts of science and mathematics which are supposed to be the two most difficult subjects that students often come and complain and parents also come and say that they are not learning science enough they are not learning mathematics enough and these are the two subjects behind which children are running so if art can be integrated with the subject if proper guidance can be given in the subject definitely they will get there their concepts will get clear they will be aware of interdisciplinary connections how one subject is connected to another i think some time ago we had a training program on interdisciplinary learning if not definitely we'll have it Inter how one subject can be connected with other in order to get a proper concept how different subjects can be connected and the results come out enhance observation curiosity exploration free and creative expression this way what is the, another thing that will happen is that it will enhance their observation quality more they will see the more questions they will ask the more questions they will ask the more uh, clear their concept will be and that concept will be retained throughout their life our main main mission is to make sure that children retain on what they learn and that will obviously give to curiosity and exploration and free and creative expression they will come out with their own ideas which will definitely definitely have some meaning develop excessive communication and critical thinking skills so they will develop expressive communication skills skills that will help them to express properly and that will eventually lead to critical thinking skills because our students are the students of the 21st century so they have to learn the 21st century skills of communication collaboration critical thinking analysis okay and so on and so forth they will it will foster an inquisitive attitude towards learning and knowledge see with art integrated learning it will foster inquisitive attitude and we want our children to be as much inquisitive as possible they are that will open up their mind their thinking capacities will increase which eventually lead to learning and gathering of knowledge understand and regulate their emotions create awareness of rich heritage and cultural diversity that will create an awareness of the, the, the culture uh, cultural diversity the, and the heritage that the nation a uh, nation is having because NEP 2020 again says that everything should be nation oriented. Whatever we teach the children, the children should know the culture and the heritage of the nation. And they will be able to explore and understand body movement, body nation, uh, in which way to express different and those express how the body movement should be done. So that is also a part of art integrated learning. The way we module our voice, the way we use our hands, the way we use, shake our body, these are also also, also various movements that come and, and uh, that tells us about the art of learning. So this is what the children will learn 
through art integrator. These are some many more points that can be discussed. So once again, we will see uh, that art integration education at this stage <clears throat> needs to be linked with subjects and it should become a tool for teaching learning concepts. It plays a very effective role in strengthening the child's curiosity. We are here to give the child's curiosity. The child's imagination should not fade away at any point. And that's why this a uh, few points that they will they will get to learn when or they will they will uh, retain within themselves or they will develop within themselves when they will go through this type of learning which will be given by you teachers what about the upper primary line uh, what we will get over here during this day children are now ready to comprehend you know now they are more understanding now they are more mature and they can comprehend more easily uh, the complex things. So now at this time, what will happen? They will comprehend more complex interconnections between concepts and the environment. During this stage, children are now ready to comprehend more complex interconnections. The more complex interconnections, the more complex uh, situations are there, where with the concepts and the environment that they will they will be uh, learning. Art integrated learning can allow children to build on simple concepts. Art integrated learning is such a beautiful learning. No, it will allow the children to build on simple concepts as well as relate them with academic contents meaningfully. So they will have simple concepts. They will get those and how they will relate them with their academic contents meaningfully. And this will enhance their skill to work in groups and explore ideas together. The objective of art integrated learning at upper primary level are to help children to explore multiple perspectives of concepts, not only related to one subject. Just now we are discussing about interdisciplinary learning. No, that is something like this, where children will have the opportunity to explore from multiple prospects on the concepts. If they are, if suppose in the in the middle school or in or in the higher high school, we are discussing a physics problem. Now, this physics problem can be can be solved with multiple concepts, taking a little bit from chemistry, taking it a little bit from biology, why not taking a little bit from uh, from English literature or language, and they will learn it. Construct knowledge of themes, subjects, and concepts. Through art integrated learning, they will construct the knowledge of themes, studying on various themes. And the subjects that they are taking, just now, which I said, along with the concepts will come across. Clear cut concept on how things are happening, why they are happening, and what should be the result out of this. This will also come. Okay. Develop pluralistic approach and appreciate different possibilities. So multiple approaches will be again there. Promote teamwork and mutual app appreciations. Teamwork is something that is, again, very, very important. It is one of the 21st century skills, working together, listening to everybody. Taking everyone's all, all ideas and coming out with different possibilities. Promote teamwork and mutual appreciation. Enhance communication skills. This will also enhance the communication language skills and the problem skills will be enhanced through art integrated learning. Because seeing is believing, thinking is believing. Create art and apply them in their day to day activities. Create art. And apply them into their day to day activities. Nowadays, you will see respected teachers, you will see, uh, say, for example, ceiling fans. Some of the companies have come out with ceiling fans. And on the plates of the ceiling fans, you will see some artistic form is there. Now, physics is directly related to when the fan runs, when the fan is uh, running, those artistic things cannot be seen. Only a particular color, faint color, can be seen. Now, once upon a time, the ceiling fans were used to be very boring fans. Okay, they used to just, okay, in the hot summer days, we used to run them. And, but nowadays, you see, wow, from where that idea has come, it has come from this art integrated learning. And when the fan is not working, it shows beautiful artistic work on the, on the planes. So it has two meanings. One, definitely the artwork that is related to that machine. And when that fan is moving when the fan is revolving when the fan or, or better to say the fan is moving then of course because of the high speed of we cannot see the but the color that is used that can be seen over there in a different way sir knows this much better i'm not a physics man but this is how i was analyzing the things 
when uh, we were discussing about a few things on art integrated learning with our uh, co principals in our one particular meeting. So, in that coming language, create art and apply them in their day to day activities. In the morning assembly, nowadays we apply a lot of art integrated learning, you know. Yes or no? Yes, we do apply them. Either we discuss about a particular topic or we discuss about a particular festival. So, uh, recently, uh, just a day before yesterday, we were discussing about Ram Navami. And we all were doing some sort of some sort of uh, role plays were there in the school assembly where art along with culture along with learning took place that ram uh, uh, we had uh, uh, sri ram pulling the pulling the bow the string of the bow with the arrow and how much physics is associated with it uh, how much chemistry is that, or how much biology is associated with it? All these things are taught. That is why we go in this way. If we look deep into the matter, what's the socio-economic competences and cognitive competences? The brain's thinking capacity, the so the social way, where, where, uh, how the uh, how socially and emotionally we are engaged when we are stu we are studying the subjects and how art really pulls us into that particular chamber of social understanding. Learn inclusive practices and respect uh, of respect, care, empathy, and compassion. And of course, we are here to make human beings, isn't it? Man? So that is the art integrated learning. When group work is there, when togetherness is there, then children develop the respect for to care. They develop that quality of empathy and sympathy along with passion and compassion within themselves. That is what learning. Remember, we are here to make the students learn not only the subjects, but the entire life story. Okay, so these are the various stages at which art integrated learning is utilized and how children get different, different qualities. Next, we will move to the strategies for implementation. In order to implement art integrated learning, what are the things that we need to do? What are the strategies we need to have to implement so that we get some effective results. The following steps are recommended for effective implementation of art integrated learning. In order to in order to integrate art integrated learning, or in order to start art integrated learning, we must we must implement a few few strategies. So first of all, definitely capacity building programs is one of the strategies which needs to be implemented in the schools. Planning of activities. What are the activities you want to plan with the children to make sure that teaching learning becomes. Uh, uh, enjoyable art integrated learning becomes enjoyable and uh, uh, resilient with effective results. Then we need planning of the activities, planning of time, time very essential. We in school we have only a certain duration of uh, working time, and within that time we have to plan everything to make sure that we get results. Classroom management. Now, classroom management, we had a teacher learning program of classroom management. Over here, using art integrated education, how we can manage our classrooms. That also we will see. And of course, community involvement. What is the involvement of the community? How community can be brought into this matter so that the teaching learning process becomes interesting. Art integrated learning becomes effective. Remember, it is about learning. Capacity building programs. So right now we are having one right now over here. So introducing art as a resource will require reorienting the school system in the use of its pedagogical tool. So if you want to include, want to introduce art as a resource, definitely we require to reorient the schools thing. Uh, we will, we have to reorient the school system. And the use of its and the pedagogical tools that we will be using, so we have to reorient them. So all stakeholders of school education, including the school management, need to be oriented to understand the importance and relevance of this pedagogy. What is the use of this art integrated learning? Each and every stakeholder of the school should know. CBP over uh, of this pedagogy, CBP over here refers to any effort, that's capacity building program, over here refers to any effort being made to improve understanding skills of educators and others to implement art integrated learning in their school. It reduces schools' reliance on outside support and services by building their internal capacity. 
So first of all, what we have to do that while we want to, we have to organize capacity building programs. Introducing art as a resource will require reorienting of the school system because when we are using it as a pedagogical tool, then definitely we have to think in a different way. And all stakeholders of the school educating education, including the school management need, the principal, the vice principal, the even the, the sports teacher, the music teacher, and of course the, the regular teachers all should know and understand what is this all about? What is the importance and relevance of this pedagogy and how this will help the school to become self-sufficient. They don't have to depend on outside skills, outside people, and they themselves can make their own internal capacity and move forward. Teacher training program should be undertaken to bring the, the paradigm shift in the way students learn and the way teacher approach teaching learning. Yes. So teacher training programs are must and it should be undertaken very seriously to bring about paradigm shift in the ways students learn and the ways teachers approach towards teaching. Both are uh, directly proportional to each other. How we teach and how students take out it. And it will bring a big change, big change in the system. Planning art integrated activities. We have to plan them. Once the teacher begins, this is a very simple way I have explained it over here, but it can be elaborated in a in a different way. Also, once the teacher begins to utilize art integrated learning methodology, they would need to work on dynamics of planning. What to do, what not to do, what to add, what not to add. Art integrated learning would require linking art experience with subject matter seamlessly and to identify techniques to engage children in group activities. So first of all, the teacher has to know them. Once the teacher wants to apply this methodology, they would need to work on the dynamics of planning. Now, what do you mean by dynamics of planning? In a very simple way, how you will plan which art form in order to link with your subject. Say, for example, if you want, if the if in the middle school, if, if a biology teacher wants to discuss about the complete digestion process to the children, the di biology teacher can conduct a uh, theater on it, okay, or can conduct one role play on it, then using different, different children as different part of the digestive system. One child can be the mouth, one child can be the teeth, one child can be the esophagus, one child can be the stomach, one child can be the small intestine, the large intestine, and they will be put in such a way, you know, that as if the food will be digested. The one who is in the mouth will say, I am, I am mouth. And you know, I am the most interesting part of the body because everybody, because the entire body just wants me. The mind wants me because I love eating. I give the body the thinking of the of the test, the feeling of the test of the food. And you know, definitely by giving the feeling of the test, I also help to cut the food, to chew the food. Inside me, I have many of my other sour other friends like the teeth, the tongue, okay, and the saliva juice. So inside me, all these things are happening. A lot of good work is happening inside me. And I definitely give the taste of the food at the same time. I also process the food in such a way so that it can slowly pass to the next part. I can slowly deliver it to my next colleague in the system. And who is the next colleague in the system? The esophagus. The esophagus says, ah, I was waiting when this, uh, this uh, bonus of food will come to me. I don't do too much thing. He, the esophagus will say, I, I don't do too much, but you know, without me, nothing can happen. So I just, with my peristaltic movement, with my up and down movement, I just let the ball pass effectively and go into the stomach. Then the stomach will say, ha! Ah, you know, I, sometimes I become fat, sometimes I become thin. I am elastic in nature. I can be pulled and pushed. I can, so many things can be done, but nobody can destroy me. I am here to receive the food. And here it will. So in this way, you know, in this way, the children will learn. They will enjoy and they will never forget it. So we should know the dynamic. The planning should be done in that way. So that seamlessly, 
the techniques can be identified and students will start learning. And I bet if we teach in this way, students will never forget. And they will always write in their own language. All we need is to, we have to, we have to encourage them. We need to bring them into the forefront. We have to apply our passions and compassions in order to make teaching learning and the activities perfect. Teachers pre-planning familiarity with the subject combined with attention to guiding and reviewing children's responses will keep the journey on the track. So, plan the methods, various methods you can use. You are innovative in nature. You can take help of CBSE's uh, uh, Art Integrated Learning uh, textbook also. Uh, we have a manual for that also. And use your own brain. I will say use your own brain. You teachers are much more innovative than others. Plan it and children will love it. And then after the be familiar with the subject combined and, and, and guide the children, review the children's response, and this will keep the journey on track. So your process, your goal will definitely be achieved. So planning is they say no, it's life is all about planning. Stage-wise planning of all activities. How you will stage-wise plan them? Okay, let us see in pre-primary. These are some inform information. Okay, it's not that exactly it is like that. You can do your own ways also. The pre-primary, as recommended by NCF uh, Foundation Stage 2023 and NCF uh, School Education 23, all education should be at this stage be through arts. Try and make it as much as possible through arts and only through arts at the pre-primary level. Okay, through arts drawing, painting, singing, or actions, or movements. That's how we say, you know, the, uh, we want the pre-primary teachers to come to school, you know, with very colorful dress. They should not, they should always be very active. They should be very dynamic. We love the not audible. Am I not audible, sir? Please let me know. Others, if you are there with us, please sir, let me know if I am audible or not. Sir, audible. Am audible, no? Yes, sir, yes, sir, ah, you are audible. Thank you so much. Then a the pre-primary school is... The heart and soul of the school, I always say. We always tell our teachers, hey, be very energetic. Come to school in colorful dress. Keep yourself neat and clean. Don't be savvy at all. Because this is the place where children really look up to you. I mean, all the, throughout the school life, children look up to their teachers. But this is the place where children really fall in love with their teachers, you know. Because whatever you do, they will imitate them. So, I remember in my school, when I was in school in St. Vincent's in Asansol, I had one of uh, my KG teacher, Mrs. Matt Reddy. Her name was Mrs. Matt Reddy. She passed away many years ago. Okay, but I still remember the way she used to dance in the classroom, respected teachers, I tell you. What a wonderful dancer she was. Quite bulky lady. She was quite bulky at that time. When I was a student of KG, in, in somewhere in 1979 or maybe something like that, I, I forgot. But I still remember the way she used to dance. You know, she used to dance around the school like, Re Mama, Re Mama, Re Mama, Re. She used to sing like this. And from there we came to know what is Bazaar, what is this, what is that. Wonderful teacher. So like that, let us all try to be a little bit about that Mrs. Pat Reddy. Or moments in further, uh, so, all education should be at this stage through arts, drawing, painting, thinking, or actions or movements. It further emphasizes that 90% of the curriculum must be art oriented. Yes, national curriculum. If you have gone through the national curriculum framework, it says that 90% of the curriculum must be art oriented. Therefore, planning activities for this stage, teachers must keep the above criteria in mind. What is the criteria? It is the pre-primary children. Another important point is to keep in mind about the process, not the product. What process you are doing? Don't forget, forget about the product that will come out of it. Think about the process while planning. Focus should be on local resources. Use local resources and age-appropriate materials to teach the children. Okay, such as you can use pebbles, seeds, beads, leaves, flowers, natural colors, wood, sticks, even, uh, even, uh, even shirts, pants, vegetables to make them learn. Because you are applying art over there. Sing with them, dance with them. And all the, 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 the rhymes that we have, simply reading from the book, Jack and Jill went up the hill will not do. Sing with them. If necessary, for a thousand also. 
and jill came tumbling after you so how you are coming tumbling after then they will understand this is what tumbling after is all about or the way our Mrs. Macriti used to dance all around the class. Re mama, re mama, re mama, re. Hum to gaya bazar me lene ko alu. Alu alu, kuch na mila, piche pada. And she used to walk away. Or she used to say, or say, you are talking about that, uh, that particular rhyme. Ten little ducklings, quack, quack, quack. Ten little ducklings, wag, wag, wag. Now, wagging means what? Moving the hands in this way means actually moving the feathers. That is known as wagging. The dog's wagging of the tail or the bird's wagging of the feather is something like this. That is the body movement. You remember the first time when I discussed about body movement? That is what learning it is all about. The concept will develop. Everything cannot be taught through books and notebooks and pens and papers. Most of the things are taught through body actions. So go for this. This is a small information. Plenty are there which you have with you. What about primary section? Okay, now a lot of things are over there. Okay, a lot of things are written over there. I'll read one by one. Because now a little extra is written. At primary stage, art should be integrated with all subjects that we have already seen. And used as an approach for teaching learning. So at primary stage, art should be integrated with all the subjects. Uh, English, Hindi. Yeah, environmental sciences, mathematics, and all. Teaching and learning of, of, of differently and freely express their ideas, and children will freely express their ideas and emotions. They will also develop all the sense through keen observation, curious exploration, and most of our primary school, our teachers of all subjects to, uh, in our class, which gives her the freedom and the scope to cater the learning of multiple days. Some, some problem has arisen over here, but I'll try to explain it. Okay. While planning activities for this stage, teachers should keep in mind the process and not the product. Again, I'm telling you, you should always keep in mind the process which you are applying. Forget about the product that you will get. Okay. The process and not the product should be focused upon. The art experience should be planned in such a way that it serves as an interdisciplinary purpose. All the subjects can be taken together by a little bit of mathematics, little bit of environmental science, little bit of English, little bit of Hindi can be catered together to multiple level needs. In case of multi-grade classroom, classrooms where there are students of different standards, the teachers should, uh, should group the students according to the age. And that should become the fundamental point of designing the activities. The need of inclusive classroom should also be there. Art integration in class 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 should be 80 and 70% respectively. So in art integrated education from class 1, to 3 or 4 to 5, there should be 80, 80 to 75 percent respectively. That is what NCF 23 is saying. The children of classes one and one and two should be left with the material to experiment and express and express on subjects and situations. Whatever materials you have, you just keep them inside the classroom and let them see what they are doing. Okay. From class three onwards, they can be given simple topics related to their day to day life activities and on the environment and let them explain what they want to do through art. So some of the uh, things over there, first of all, you have to make your planning. They think about the uh, process, not about the product. In multi-grade system, in some class, in some schools, we have two, three classrooms together where you can separate them into groups. 80 to 75 percent of the learning should be art integrated and let the children remain free in the classroom and let them and you just observe and see what they are doing and keep a note on that. We have done an anecdotal records and all. You can keep them on the anecdotal records and all. Upper primary and upper primary stage emphasis should be laid on the use of the learner's own imagination. There we were creating. Now let us over here make the children more free and let them learn with their own imagination and development of their creative exhalation at this stage of work. Children of this stage of work together in, uh, in, uh, in teams of their social emotional development and enhancement of their life skills takes interpersonal cooperation, respect for diversity and appreciation takes place over here, you know. Their leadership qualities develop over here. That can be seen when they are engaged in doing the work over here. While planning activities for this day, teacher needs to see that the focus is on the process again, not on the product. Needs of the inclusive classroom should, should be taken care of. There should not be any type of discrimination. There should be heterogeneous approach. Grouping and regrouping should be there. And ICT can be used over here because as the children are growing, their mind is developing. So from that typical, uh, uh, from that, uh, I will not say typical, that is a wrong word to use. What was that, that art form which was used in the middle school may not be applicable to the higher school, okay, upper primary school. 
to that. So definitely we have to change the system also. So there again also you will apply your own artistic work, your own artistic brain to brain to teach the children exactly what they need over there. And once the children will find that they their need is fulfilled, I'll tell you wonders will happen in the classroom. Planning of the planning, time planning, yeah. planning of time and resources. How to plan with time and how what and how we should plan with the resources. Okay. Time management and every stage is an important aspect of teachers' professional competence and productivity. I hope all of you will agree with this. Yes. How you manage with time, that is that shows how competent teacher you are and how productive you are. Teachers can some uh, some time out uh, for organizing art experiences. Due to quantity of time, this can be called, sometimes because of too much of time consumption in other things, we may not be able to get the time, but this can compromise the creation of joyful and uh, uh, experience. This sometimes compromise the creation of joyful and experiential learning. Therefore, interesting time slots should be available in schools, such as morning assembly, which I was discussing. Sir, something happened with it. Am I uh, audible, sir? Am I visible also? Is the yes, sir. Yes, sir. You yes, are audible yes. and okay. visible. Okay. okay, fine, fine, fine. So you know, suddenly this thing happens, you know. This, this. So uh, time management at every stage is important, and sometimes you know we may not get the exact time, we may not get the right time, or we may not get enough time. But then somehow you have to plan it, you know. You have to plan it to make sure that the teaching learning process continues, that art integrated learning process. So this can, uh, so it can compromise with the creation of joyful and experiential learning. Therefore, have special time like the morning assembly, festivals or celebrations, special assemblies, excursions, the spelling is wrong over there, art experiences, they can be usually, uh, easily linked to the subject. Okay, now here a lot of planning is needed and resourceful teachers are always there who can always time out to do what exactly they want. Research planning, proper planning of the resources adds a novelty to the art integrated experience. How you plan the resources? What are the resources you need? Because that will in, that will definitely add to the novelty of the art integrated experience. Regular research and extensive groundwork by the by the teachers, rich representatives of resources are included in from regional and local resources. Never ever go for any expensive and high five things because that is not a good show of a good teacher. Always go for simple ones which are available. Use those resources and create wonderful teaching learning materials from them. Uh, the resources should be easy and use and convenient to procure. Uh, and, uh, and their frequency of usage can be increased. While selecting the resources, especially the physical one, should be confident of the fact that choices of resources, type of resources, material resources, while planning and selecting the material and equipment for our activities can one can practice the thumb rule. Okay, when you are going for this, you can find out the economical one, the eco-friendly ones, the reusable and innovative the resources which are available locally. Go for them. Never ever go for very high-fi, costly resources because that is not a good sign of a good teacher. A good teacher, a resourceful teacher, a very uh, professional teacher will always try to find out the resources which are needed for, to run the pedagogy should be easily available. That is the hallmark of a great teacher. Classroom management. Well, obviously, if you want to uh, uh, go for art integrated learning, some sort of classroom management needs to be taken care of. There's nothing very hi-fi about it. How you will use the classroom, how you will decorate the classroom, how you will use children within the classroom so that they can enjoy the learning process that you are engaging them with. Classroom is a space that becomes fertile ground of learning if utilized and managed appropriately. Okay, if you are utilizing and managing appropriately, it will definitely, definitely become a fertile ground for learning. Given below are some of the suggestions, flexible sitting arrangement mix, which provides space for activities and free movement of the children and teachers. So flexible, a lot of teaching arrangement. Last time, if you remember, we had a discussion on various sitting arrangements. We can go for the traditional sitting arrangement. We can go for the horseshoe teaching arrangement. We can go for the circular teaching sitting arrangements where the teacher and the students can move freely. Freedom is needed. If freedom is there in the classroom, if movements are restricted, then learning will also become restricted. Okay, for better efficiency that the traditional sitting arrangement rows and columns. 
Man, I'm in, in the middle of a session, online session. Good evening, man. Man, I'm in the middle of a session, no? online session. I'm conducting, I'll talk to you after time. Okay. Uh, so, this will help the teacher to reach the classroom, to reach each and every student. So, art integrated learning approach recommends children working in groups for active engagement and collective learning. At pre primary stage, standards one and one and two groups can be there of two, three children can be give, made into a group. Maximum five to six children also you can put. In standards three to five, they can be of four to five children. Uh, by, uh, by the upper development, better groups, more dynamics will be there, more movements will be there. Therefore, teacher can plan. Therefore, teacher can plan the grouping of children, keeping in mind the need of the activity. For better results, keep changing the configuration of the groups. Okay, if you want better results, don't let all the children, the same children, sit throughout the place, throughout the session. No, change them, change the groups. Then different children will come, then the different mindset, different thinkings will come. Otherwise, that same group of children will go on thinking the same things. Okay. So that is something that should be kept in mind. Encourage the process of inclusion while respecting all kinds of diversity. That should be kept. Okay. Uh, the process of inclusion should always be there while setting up the classroom. While forming groups, the multi-level and multi-grade should be kept in mind if there are two, three classrooms are together. Presentation by children should be encouraged to create an interactive learning environment. Let the children talk. Let the children present what they want to, to, to give to the classrooms. Let their learning be through their presentations by interactions. More and more interactive sessions should be there. Let them come out. You just, teachers should just watch and keep a record of what is happening. Then, again I will tell, something different will happen with them. And teaching learning will become lovable for them. Of course, assessment is also necessary. So assessment through art integrated learning helps the facilitator, that is you, the teacher, to move away from the traditional, please move away from the traditional paper, pen, pencil, or oral and recall. And a more uh, comprehensive assessment method can be, can help to assess both the learning of the subject as well as the socio-emotional development. Say for example, say for example, if you are, we are teaching the middle school student about, say, uh, let's take about fishing. Let's talk about fish. So how much they will understand about the fish? What are the different, what is the lifestyle, life cycle of a fish? And when the fish will be fished out of the pond or the river, then what will be the emotional development of the student if the fish is taken out? You know, these are something that needs to be discussed very, uh, very clearly with the children. That will democratize the process of assessment. It will help you. It will give you the freedom to assess them, what the child thinks. One loves eating fish. Another, how it feels if the fish is taken out from the from the pond or the river and its freedom is scuttled. I'm just giving an example. A lot many things can be done over there. So multiple modes of expressions can, of their learning attitudes will come. So hence it becomes it becomes competency based learning. You know, they are understanding. Utilizing their understanding in the next level of learning will definitely help them. So that is why assessment should not be the typical pen and paper just sticking and going on for it. It should be of learning-based resources. So whatever they have learned from there, they will understand it. So this is all about assessment. And respected teachers, thank you. Uh, in very short, I'll tell you in very, very short, in a very brief way, actually, we have discussed about art integrated learning. It's a vast subject. It needs at least five to ten hours of complete face-to-face -face training program where we can do a lot of activities that the activities we are discussing about. But in a very in a very brief way, we have discussed about it. I hope definitely somewhere you got some ideas, but I'll tell you a lot of wonders are there within this particular pedagogy. And I myself is a big fan of this art integrated learning. I have been practicing this for a long period of time. I asked my teachers to go for it. And I also request all of you to follow the same and do something different in the classroom. Let children enjoy learning in a different way. Let us move away from the typical classroom type teaching. Thank you. Thank you, Ivan Su, sir. So with this, we come. If anybody has any questions, we can go for that, sir. Yeah. Participants can ask questions. And if any questions are there to be asked, you can go. Uh, there's a questionnaire also with this, which of course uh, Sir will give so that you can answer them. 
and I hope definitely you will get most of the answers from what we have discussed today over here. So, Anybody wants to add up something with this art integrated learning, you are most welcome to do so. Yes, if you have any query, you can ask. So thank you so much, uh, Surajit sir, once again. Uh, uh, thank you, sir. And uh, <laughs> you have uh, done uh, wonder. It was really it's a two day session. I myself have attended a two day session for two days. Yes, sir. We will have, once you plan, sir, in Patna itself, we'll have a two day session on art integrated yeah. lunch with all activities and everything. So on behalf of Arya Vata School Complex, I thank you once again, Sujit sir. And thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thanks to all our participants also. And we have shared the link for your feedback attendance. So please do it up to 6.15 at the time given. So with this, thank you. Thank you once again. Simple man. Uh, yes, sir. So, uh, we can, uh, because the session has gone up to uh, 6 past 6, so we can also uh, extend the time from 6.15 to 6.21. So the attendance will be marked up to 6.20, 6.25. So thank you so much. Now you can leave. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sujit, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, simple ma'am. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, sir.